Hello everyone and namaste to my friends after a long time. Let's study a remedy today. And um, I'm trying to see if we can have this kind of discussion about a lot of remedies, a lot of lesson on remedies and trying to understand remedies in different layers. So the remedy for today we'll discuss is lac felinum. It's a very interesting remedy, lac felinum. First of all, I would like to tell you that lac felinum remedy has a full fledged proving. And uh, in the original Materia Medica, and you can read it in Allen's keynotes also. And um, you can read it in some other Materia Medicas like Clark Dictionary or Practical Materia Medica. You will see a few symptoms of lac felinum. The typical symptom is the symptom of the eye and um, has a lot of headaches and eye symptoms. And especially the symptom, typical symptom, which also reminds you of silica and spigelia, that feeling as if a pointed object, when they look at, they feel it's going to come inside the head or inside the eye. And there's a fear of pointed objects. It's a very typical indication in classical materia medica about uh, lac felinum. Of course, there is one more very, very well-known symptom. And this is what I normally use this remedy for, especially in children's cases where, you know, they want to tear the paper and eat the paper. Children who eat the paper, the remedy often is lac felinum. So, now let's try to understand a little bit more about the lac felinum, the remedy. How would you actually see it in clinic? Because I want to tell you, not theoretical materia medica, but I want to talk to you about practically what will you see, what are the very deep inner patterns because a lot of patients in today's times require the lac remedies, <clears throat> the lac caninum, the lac defloratum, the lac felinum. And I think this is a very common symptom of lac remedies that they have some symptoms before the menses, headache before the menses. Chest pains before the menses, mammy pain before the menses. Very often you will see hormonal pathologies in mammal remedies, but lac felinum is very, very interesting. One of the very, very interesting symptoms of um, lac felinum also is that when you want to understand a remedy, one way to understand is to understand that the proving of the remedy. And another way to understand is how is the behavior connecting it with the source? And what do we know about the source of lac felinum? Is of course the cat. Cats are different to dogs, isn't it? The normal situational Materia Medica that I often find with lac felinum is the feeling where patients say that there is a lot of feeling of being abused, feeling neglected. And this is the situation, you know, they are, they are dominated, they are victimized by maybe their father or their mother or their boyfriend or their girlfriend or their husband or their boss or their colleague or and this could be a situation common situation the main experience of lac felinum and the coping mechanism is that they react by rebellion they react a lot by rebellion and they react a lot by wanting to be independent and they become very independent this is why they, this is the difference between lac caninum and lac felinum you know, lac felinum is very fiercely independent uh, kind of uh, pattern there and the feeling for them is I've been abused I've been neglected I've been tortured I've been misbehaved and I am now going to be independent and I don't need you I don't need you I can be happy the way I am I can find things wherever I want I can find a man I can hook with him for some time I can just enjoy my life and I can be independent and I can work and I'm I'm a very, very independent woman. So there's this strong thing in, in, in lac felinum. This is very typical situational material medica you'll find them. Yeah. 
because very interestingly when you try to understand the behavior of a cat you know it's very difficult to uh, kind of domesticate a cat because of the independent nature I, some of our friends who have cats with you will understand that it's more is it it's more kind of you know when you have a dog as a pet you have to take care of everything i had a dog as a pet when i was very young and i remember we had is everything you know it's almost like you have to take him to go out for shit you have to clean you have to the food everything when you domesticate it's almost like a you know it's a full fledged journey to take care of this pet dog but cat is very different they can take care of themselves yeah they are very lazy they are very independent they are very self sufficient they can fend for themselves and they want their freedom also and i think this you will see in uh patients requiring lack of felinum that although there is a core dependency but there is a sense of feeling that i am self sufficient i really don't need it and only when i want a cuddle from you and when i want a caress from you that time if you give me it's okay or really i don't really really need it so they are they're different they're very very different you also see in them a sense of a little kind of cunningness huh? there there's a little deceitfulness in in lack felinum although in matira medica it's written that lack felinum is very very uh, fastidious and want to clean this is also a typical symptom of uh, lack caninum and lack group of remedies but in lack felinum interestingly as you know the cats uh, they love to groom themselves they will keep licking themselves you know you will see this cat so it's it's a lot of correction of uh, source and uh, the matira medica interesting i think the one of the main theme is a conflict between dependence and independence for lack felinum and and the feeling of a domesticated cat is that should i give up instinctively wildness within me for this kind of security and pampered life by the master but i'm self sufficient i really don't need you so this is something they they cannot tolerate too much of intimidation they cannot tolerate too much too much of domination they will often break up but they are fiercely independent and uh, they cannot tolerate being submissive or harassment there's a there's a little layer of selfishness in them huh? some of this lack felinum may look a little bit like you know platina palladium something something like that it can be possible in your practice you will see that <clears throat> in the provings one of the themes was about the feeling of a lot of feeling around of flirtatiousness and also in a way having a lot of sexual connections and somewhere a feeling of ego getting affected or embarrassment coming or self worth getting affected and that's why there's a very interesting theme that runs through like felinum and that is of theme of feeling of a prostitute or feeling of feeling so there is in the proving one of the theme came is that feeling as if i'm a whore that that's a very strong feeling that comes in the provings of like felinum so there are in most like remedies you'll see a conflict you know conflict about wanting caress wanting affection towards i don't touch me it's both sides to them yeah. it's very very interesting this remedy like fell you know a lot to learn about this remedy has some very interesting proving symptoms also in like fell you know so i hope this helps our our journey and our endeavor to understand uh, lesser known remedies smaller remedies understanding deeper picture of this so many people require lack remedies and smaller remedies we miss this out so i hope it's interesting for you to write to us what you feel thank you